Does everybody understand that part? Now, if you're here online tonight and you didn't hear what we talked about yesterday, there was a blind man that Jesus called because a blind man called out to Jesus first. He said, Lord, have mercy on me. A son of David, have mercy. And Jesus, after all the people telling the man to hush, Jesus said, wait a minute. He stopped moving and called the man to him. So the man took his garment off and the Bible said he ran a walk toward Jesus. So the man, let me explain why the garment is so important. He threw away the thing that identified him as something that, that he didn't want to be. See, in that particular time, if you wore a garment like he had on, it meant you were blind. And when Jesus called him, he took off what he didn't want to be. He had to define himself in a different way. And I'm, I'm, he says, I'm, I'm getting used to defining things the way the word defines them. And he was running now to the word. That's what Bonamaeus' actions conveyed. See, I'm, I'm acting, he's like, I'm acting as if I can see. And the people who can see, people who can see, don't wear these garments. You're going to hear a whole lot of controversy, a lot of debate in your life as a Christian. Um, sometimes one of the greatest issues that we have in Christianity is people that get crossed up and what can I wear, what can I not wear. You know, there are things that you used to do in your former life that when people see you still looking like that, they don't know about your new life because you're still, still wearing what you wore in your blind life. All right? And, and there, are, there are disrespectful things that we did in our blind lives. And now that we're born again, we don't do that. So, so look at what happened. He went to Jesus, and Jesus said unto him, what do you want me to do for you? Remember that? And, 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 the, and, the, and, and Jesus could, he asked what he want me to do because Jesus could do something. If that man had shown up wearing blind man's clothes, it would have indicated to Jesus that he wasn't ready to receive it. A lot of times Christians, we show up before God wearing our old garments. We come in with our old attitudes, our old state of mind. Garments of debt. The Lord is saying, what do you want me to do? You, you won't take off the debt. You keep telling me you need something, but you keep carrying your debt. We wear garments of pain, problems, we wear lack. Instead, we need to try taking off the old thing and come to him ready to accept all that he has in his hands. So when he took off that garment, he said, I got to take this off because I've got to act like I'm ready to see. My sight is restored, but I just don't know how to see without him letting me know and giving me confirmation. And so, you know, it was, it was a man having to change his posture. He changed the way he was. He changed the way he was acting. He changed the way he saw things. And he started changing the way people saw him. That's what this thing is in Christianity that a lot of people we, 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 we battle with. We're not trying to necessarily say that, I'll just say this, that somebody else's styles or whatever they're doing is right or wrong. But there's a time when you have to change the way people see you. They treated him blind because he wore blind people's clothes. But when Jesus said, come, the man knew, I've got to take this off and go to him. And Jesus never touched him. Jesus just said, hey man, when you heard my voice, when you heard the word, your faith made you whole. I want you to know that there's a reason Satan will challenge you every time church is going on to not hear it. I thank God for the internet now. I thank God for being able to use electronics and this, the, 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 um, the World Wide Web uh, to be able to go out online and those who can't drive in the church, it doesn't keep them from hearing God's word. I appreciate that. One of the first movements of faith is to put yourself though in position as if you're preparing to get something from the Lord. Put yourself in position. If you got a bat in your hand, go ahead and hold it up. That means pitch it. If you're going to catch it, go ahead and put your hands out there. That means throw it. But you've got to change your position. you got to change what you used to give and how you used to give and what you used to hold on to. If God's going to give you $50, don't take that $50 and hustle it out for $100. Say, Lord, I trust you for $50.
and I know you're going to give me more. You have to change your position.